someone who has mastered, has 10,000 hours or eight years in that industry, do you know what quality looks like? Do you have a definition of quality for your concrete projects? Do you know what alkali silica reaction is? We're going to talk about this and some other things in the video. And we're going to talk about that because concrete is the largest or can be the largest infrastructure that you have on your property. For example, you may have concrete roads. You'll have concrete driveways and sidewalks and porch caps. So it would be the largest line item on your budget. How do you handle your concrete? Well, that's what we're going to talk about. One of the things that I want to also give you are some positives. First of all, concrete is the number one building material globally. When you think of your roads, your driveways, and your sidewalks, your foundations, your garage floors, your basement floors, nothing, no, nothing else, no other building material is used more than concrete. The second thing is that every industrialized country in the world produces or manufactures their own concrete. Third, concrete as an industry is in the top 10 of sustainable industries around the world. The other thing is that your concrete should have a life cycle of 20 years. Your concrete should have a target of lasting for 20 years. That means you should take that approach when defining or setting the scope of work for a concrete project. Let's talk about the concrete expert. A lot of times I talk to boards and they'll have someone who, you know, grew up in Detroit and their neighbor did part-time jobs doing concrete. They help them. So they're their expert or they might have someone who's uh, on their board that's a general contractor or involved in another trade. So they're their expert. A lot of times that leads to conversations of we want three or four bids on a property that's going to be apples to apples and best price wins. Basically, they're going to choose the company that has the lowest price. Well, that creates several problems. One is you don't know what quality looks like. And number two, you're just choosing based on price. And the community can end up as the loser. So let's talk about what quality is. Quality consists of three things. Quality consists of design, material selection, and installation. So three things, design, material selection, and installation. Our company can help with all three of those things. In fact, we like to be involved at the beginning of a project because we can take a project from art to part, from beginning to end from the design phase to the finished product or the finished road or uh, driveway or sidewalk. So what happens is with the design phase, you get this ex expert on the board and they want to set the scope of work that we're going to do this or this and then they want everybody to come in and, and just bid on that. But the problem is there's things that identifying why your concrete was damaged, why your concrete is cracking or crumbling and a lot of times that list is generated from the co-owner that calls the most. You have a co-owner that calls all the time and says there's a cracked slab in my sidewalk, there's a cracked slab in my driveway and I want that replaced. So that becomes the scope of work. Well quality is design, material selection and installation and quality should drive or create life cycles. And the life cycle of concrete should be 20 years. Now that's not created by us. That's created by the Michigan Concrete Association, the American Concrete Institute, the National Ready Mix Portland Association. They're the experts that test and try to create the longest life cycle. And that's important because concrete is your longest lasting pavement with little to no maintenance costs associated with that. So when you do a paving project or a concrete project, you want to keep that in mind that you want to drive that 20 year ownership or 20 year life cycle of the pavement. Let's talk about the identifying certain areas. 
for example, as, as we come back, you can see here where the road meets this driveway. I'm going to back up a little bit. Where the road meets the driveway, and you have brand new pavement or a brand new driveway. Well, right next to that, what they did was they, have, they left in place something that was deteriorating. It was crumbling and having a problem. Well, you may not be able to see these lines really real well, but there's a spider web in front of the, one, a lot of the uh, deteriorating concrete. And that spider web has a white substance to it that's coming out of the ground or coming out of the concrete, and that's called alkali silica reaction. Where does that come from? Alkali silica reaction is a, caused by the manufacturing of the concrete. Concrete consists of three things. Portland cement, aggregate, stone and sand, and water. You might have admixtures that assist in the placing and finishing of the concrete, but really concrete, just for the simple definition, is broken down to those things. Portland cement, stone and sand, or aggregate, and water. Now, in the 1970s and 80s, the EPA, Environmental Protection Agency, wanted to define and find out why there's so much acid rain. So they were looking across a lot of different industries. When they looked across those industries, they found out that the manufacturers of Portland cement were creating um, acid in the, for a simple definition, creating acid in the, ma in the manufacturing of Portland cement. What they do is they take the material and they heat it. And during the heating process, it separates it. And part of the separation was that acid. And the EPA said that you needed to control that more by reducing the temperature and time in which you heat the elements to separate the material or purify the material. So what happened was they left that acid in the Portland cement. Now, as that is brought to the ready mix provider who mixes that to create concrete, they would take the sand and stone and in that material was a silica. When they come together and they're activated by water, it creates that alkali silica reaction, which basically when you evaluate and you look at concrete, concrete will have different stresses or pressures on it. If you can see here, this concrete is just basically had internal pressure that kind of blew it apart or expanded it. Well, that's because of that alkali silica reaction. And now the Portland Ready Mix provider or manufacturer has to be set to a standard of 1% or less. And that's really important because it ensures the quality of the concrete that you're getting on a project now. But a lot of existing roads and driveways have this concrete from that time frame of manufacturing. So what happens is a lot of communities will begin to, for example, crack fill their roads, try to patch or bond or blend that in. And what happens is it becomes a maintenance cost. The rate of deterioration is faster than their maintenance. And their maintenance is really just a patch and pray. They're hoping that these patches will last for a few years. In essence, these patches end up lasting maybe a year or two. And because of the deterioration of the concrete, what ends up happening is you can't stay ahead of that maintenance program. And you need to somehow solve that. So part of it is we identify those areas so that you can look at your budget and take them and, and create projects for your community that would be a phase. For example, if you have concrete and your budget is set at you know, 50,000, okay, well, if you focus on certain areas strategically, you might be able to do five years of concrete replacement and then we'll have to ideally circle back around to those areas for 20 years. That's a lot of value. Now you have multiple years to tackle and save money, put it in your reserve and do other things beneficial for your property. If you have any questions, please contact us, leave a message, a comment. If you like this video, hit subscribe and we <laughs>